Good morning, Fort McMurray, Wood Buffalo, and the rest of the world. You've tuned in to the Max City Morning Show. I am your host, Elliot Pierre. And as per usual, we're going to start the show off the same way we start every episode off, with a moment of gratitude. I know you could be doing a million other things with your time, so the fact that you spend it with us truly does mean the world to me. So thank you. On that note, Tanner, hit him with the intro. How's she caught me, loves? You're listening to the Max City Morning Show. All right, and we're back. Okay, we have a returning guest. I'm excited about this returning guest because every time he comes, it's just delicious. So as you know, I'm not going to introduce my guests. They do a better job of that than myself. So on that note, sir, can you please reintroduce yourself to the people at home? Ray, well, first of all, uh, great uh, great to be here, Elliot. It's, yeah. uh, it's been a couple of months <laughs> since the last time, but it's uh, nice to be back and appreciate the opportunity. So my name is Jay Falcone. Been in Fort McMurray now just about 37, 38 years. Uh, I work at one of the oil sand plants in uh, human resources uh, in the pension and benefits area. And I also facilitate the financial literacy program with the Multicultural Association right. of Wood Buffalo. But today has nothing to do with any of that. Exactly. You're here to cook today. So last time we had dessert. That's right. And when you started talking about the dessert and it was a pear and you were oil it and there's gonna be chocolate on it i'm like this is gonna be horrible and it was delicious delicious so what we what we started backwards so we started at dessert what yeah. are we having today yeah so remember we said we're gonna do a regressive dinner through this series yeah yeah so we started with the dessert like you said uh, poached pears hopefully you like that delicious um what we're going to do today is we're going to do a main course. So we're going to do a pasta dish. Okay. Because Italians love pasta. Yeah. Right. Okay. So what kind of pasta dish are we having today? Okay. So what we're going to do is we're, we're going to uh, cook a uh, pasta dish called pasta, cacho, and pepe. So that literally means cheese and pepper. And the pepper is going to be a black pepper. Okay. 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 Uh, but I'm going to put a little bit of a twist to it, add a, a few other ingredients. So it's okay. not the traditional one, but it's the okay. base of that uh, cacho and pepe. Okay, and so when it comes to pasta, like you said, it's very traditional. How did you first start cooking pasta? Like, why is this a dish that means anything to yourself? Oh, okay. So, uh, yeah. So this particular dish is uh, <clears throat> is native to to Rome. Okay. Okay. So if you ever go, to, you've been to Rome. I've been to Rome. Okay. Yes, so sir. if you go to Rome, this is a traditional uh, plate. There, it's it's very very simple to make. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, but. Basic ingredients, like I said, cheese, pepper. We're going to add some other things to it. But uh, if you go there, and it, it's one of those things that you got to try in, right. in Rome. Okay, right. So like they say, when, when you're in Rome, what do you do? Yeah, you Do as the, like Romans. the Romans. Yeah, exactly. exactly. So you got to try that if you're ever in Rome. But we're going to do our own version here today. And I think folks will really like it. All right. Okay. Well, listen, everybody at home, we're going to transition to the Max City Kitchen. So... Uh, Let's go do some cooking. Let's go. Cool. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get a zucchini. This is washed. Just take off the ends there. Okay, so this is the part of the dish where it's not traditional cacio and pepe, but we're gonna add these two ingredients and it adds something different to the to the dish. All right, so why is this an addition? Why did you decide to put this in? Oh, good, good question. Like, I like the traditional cacio and pepe, but uh, I just like this because it just brings another level of flavor, right? Okay. So if you think about it, if you don't like uh, zucchini, for example, because some people don't like it, or if you don't like the next ingredient we're going to put in there, then, you know, just skip it. Great. Or find a substitute. But I just like this version here. And uh, we'll just do this, okay? So we're just chopping up the zucchini. I just got one zucchini here, okay? And what I've done here, Elliot, on the stove, you'll notice that I've got two uh, frying pans going. Right. Okay, we're gonna just put, these are hot. I'm gonna put some olive oil in here. Okay, the other one I'm just gonna leave for now. Okay. And we also got the water for the pasta starting to cook. Okay? Great, I got a question about uh, the pans that you got on the oven there. Sure, go ahead. So you were heating those up before. That's right. So they're nice and hot when you put that olive oil there. That's right. Why? Yeah, because you want the oil, you want the pan to be hot, you want the oil to get that temperature, right? Rather than have the oil come up to that temperature. All right. Okay. Okay, good to know. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put the zucchini in here. You'll notice that that's sizzling nice. 
Okay. Yeah. The okay. smell right off the bat. Yeah. So That's we're awesome. Gonna, we're just going to continue doing that, and I'm going to look for this here. Okay. And all we're doing is sautéing this, okay? So just let that sauté. That's going to take a few minutes to do there, okay? And now we're going to get to the second ingredient. That's not traditionally in a cacio in pepe, which is bacon. Everything's better with bacon. Everything's better with bacon, of course. So you're making small cuts on that. Yeah, just cutting it in pieces here. Just gonna take that out there, okay? Now again, if you don't uh, like bacon or you don't eat bacon, or we got a lot of viewers that for other purposes don't have it, right. skip it. Or you can use, for example, turkey sausage or chicken sausage for the protein if you want. Right. If not, don't worry about it. Don't. And this is just regular bacon. It's this not, is just regular bacon. Yeah. yeah. Not maple, not cured, it's just, nope. just bacon. Yeah, it's just regular bacon. Okay. Okay, so just gonna take that now. We're gonna put this in the other pan. Okay. And you'll notice that it's starting to sizzle. Okay, now I didn't put any oil on this one because right. there's enough fat that's rendered from the... Um, Okay, so we're just going to do that. I'm going to just cut a little bit more here. I'm going to continue to cook the zucchini. How's that smelling? It smells delicious. So we're continuing to saute the zucchini. I'm just going to add a little bit of salt. Not much. Okay. I'm also going to add a little bit of pepper. Okay. And we're just going to continue to saute this. You'll notice that the the bacon is, is crisp now, so we want to get, take, take this off the fire. I was just okay. going to ask, yeah. like time management when you're cooking is key. Yeah, and we're just going to drain the fat out of here. Okay. Just going to put it in a Max City cup. There you go. Okay. There's Product more placement. Than, more than one use for your Max City mugs. There you go. Okay, I'm just going to put that there. And then I'm just going to Put my bacon in a in a in a dish here. In a oh, bowl. so you're, you're totally done with the bacon on the yeah. on the fryer then? Okay. Yeah. I'm just gonna put that in here so it just soaks up some of that fat, yeah. that excess fat. Just gonna put it in there like that. Okay. Okay. And so that's on that. Okay. All now right. the next thing I'm gonna do, Pierre. Yeah. Elliot. Sorry. It's all right. Is move the water here. And I'm just going to put that high. I'm going to shut this one off. And that's continuing to cook there, the zucchini. Okay. Now you notice that it's getting a little um, caramelized, which is nice. Okay. Yep. Delicious. Looks good. So I got that off. Okay, so that's continuing to cook. Now with the pasta water, I'm gonna add, always add salt before. So we're just gonna add some salt. And why is that? That's gonna give flavor to the pasta, okay? Because okay. the pasta doesn't have salt. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna continue to do that there. Now in fact, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use another one of these Max City mugs. I'm okay. just gonna get a little bit of water here. Okay. And I'm just gonna put a little bit in here and just help it cook a little bit Ooh. more. Okay. Looks, smells, sounds delicious. Okay, so let's go now and we're gonna start on the cheese mixture. Okay. So what we're gonna do is the cheese, the cacho in the cacho and pepe, yeah. is gonna be what's called a pecorino romano. Okay? okay, now most people are familiar with parmigiano or parmesan. Okay. Okay, we're gonna use pecorino. Pecorino is a a lamb uh, or sheep, uh, sorry, uh, uh, cheese. It's a little bit saltier than um, parmigiano and okay. it's gonna be excellent inside this dish. Okay, okay. so I'm just gonna grate this. And you can get this at most stores now. They have the uh, pecorino. Now, if you want, you can use parmigiano, which is still okay. 
uh, not as traditional as a Roman uh, dish, but you can put that in. Any uh, duro, uh, uh, semi duro cheese, okay? Yeah. Semi hard, I should say, um, is going to be good in this dish. And you can try different different cheeses, right? Right. You can really smell that cheese. That's Isn't that nice. It smells yeah. so good. Yeah. So it has a different flavor than uh, than Parmigiano. Yeah. Okay. But this is going to be excellent in there. Okay. So we're just going to continue to do that. I got just over a cup there, I think. Okay. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is start cooking the pasta. So this is, uh, we're going to use just a, uh, uh, it's called Barilla pasta, very good quality pasta. You can use any type. Okay. We're going to use fettuccine. You can put linguine. You can put spaghetti, whatever you like. Okay. Okay. Now, now you just said it's a good kind of pasta. So I guess all pasta is not created equally. Yeah. I mean, it's just like any other brand, right? Brand. Right? I mean, and for, you know, something like this, it's $2. Yeah. If you get the no-name brand, it's maybe $1.25, $1.50. Spend the extra 50 cents. This one comes from Italy, so it's really good. Okay. And usually, uh, the way to kind of uh, determine, uh, you know, how many people will feed, uh, it's typically about 100 grams per person. So this has 454 grams, so, it, you know, four and a half servings, okay? So what I'm going to do is remember we had the water that was salted. Right. There's uh, tanners eating with us today. Always. Of course. So I'm just going to put that in there like that. Okay. Okay. And you'll notice that it's just hard there. I'm just going to let that go down. Okay. Now one of the things about pasta when you're cooking, most people uh, don't cook pasta well, okay? In fact, even some restaurants don't do it. And we're, we're just a few tips. First of all, always use um, a lot of water, okay? Now, having said that, in this dish here, don't listen to that because we want to use less water just because we want some of the uh, starches to come out of the pasta because we're going to use it for our sauce. But typically when you're making, uh, cooking pasta, you should always have um, quite a bit of water, okay? You notice that that's down there and now it's, that's gonna continue to cook. Uh, the other thing that we talked about was salting the water. Never put oil, uh, butter in the water, okay? Because some people do that because they think that, well, that's gonna stop the pasta from sticking. But what it actually does is it attaches to the pasta and then the sauce doesn't go on, okay? It slips off, so it takes the starch away. So. We're going to continue to do this, as you can see, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to cook it. Another mistake people make is they cook the pasta too long, okay? So we're going to cook it at what's called al dente, which means that to the tooth. So when you bite it, it should be a little, little hard. Not too hard, but usually, you know, you take it out because guess what? Pasta continues to cook even after you put it on the plate, okay. right? Okay. So Again, a lot of people overcook their pasta. Sometimes you'll go to some restaurants and they'll, they'll parboil the pasta in the morning. And then you show up and you order pasta and then they give it another boil. Okay, that's, it, you, your pasta is going to be soggy, okay? So a sign of a good restaurant is when you order the pasta, they cook it for you right away, okay? Now what we're going to do is continue to kind of cook this and then we'll come back and I'll show you what, how we start making the sauce. Okay, so the next part of the cacio and pepe is the, the pepper piece, okay? So what I've done, I've got a uh, hot skillet again, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to crack some black pepper here, okay? And I want to keep it coarse enough, okay? Okay, and Elia, can you smell that already? Oh yeah, as okay. soon as it hits the pan. Yeah. So what we're doing here is just letting the flavors come out and you know, you can do 30, 40 turns. Okay. Yeah, you're just, not being shy with that pepper. No, no, because this is one of the main ingredients of this. Okay. Okay. So you notice, look, it's even smoking now. Okay. Isn't that great? So this is very similar when individuals, um, you know, make curry and you let it. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do, okay, I'm just going to turn the heat down a bit there. 
as it releases those aromas. Okay, now my pasta is coming along very well. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a little bit of pasta water. Now remember, the pasta water is gonna have some starch in it. Okay, and I'm just gonna put a little bit in here. Okay. Ooh. And you notice that that's coming along very well. Okay. Put it back there. Okay, and now it's making, it's like making a little bit of a sauce. Okay. A pepper sauce. A pepper sauce, okay. Now, you notice my pasta? It's almost al dente. You notice that it's got that little white there? Mm -hmm. That means that it's to the tooth, okay? okay. I'm gonna continue doing that. Okay. And I'm just gonna put that heat down. Okay, and then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get the cheese. Okay, and again, my Max City ladle. I'm gonna add a little bit more, just a little bit, not too much. Water to the cheese. Yes. Okay. So what we're doing there, Elliot, is we're making almost our cheese sauce. Now, not too much water. Okay. Okay, because we want this to come out like a bit of a, a paste, okay? So we're not using any cream or anything like that, but look at that. That's coming out like a, a cheese sauce. Right. Okay. Now you'll notice that that's nice like that. And again, not too much. Okay. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my pasta, which I'm just gonna try again. Yeah. Just give it another 30 seconds here, okay? Okay, and what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna drain the pasta. Typically you would drain pasta, but we just want some of that water in there anyway. So what I'm gonna do is just do that. Okay. Okay, and you'll notice that that's just coming along very nice there. I'm gonna mm -hmm. add a little bit more of my pasta water. Okay. Okay, and as you notice, it's, it's cooking now a bit, no? Right, you can smell it. It smells yeah. delicious. Yeah, it's like the pasta is hitting that pepper. Yeah, I'm getting the cheese smell, yeah. and that bacon has definitely not left the room. That's for sure. Yeah, and I'm gonna turn it off now. Okay. Just gonna add a little bit more. Okay. And what I'm gonna do, which is adding my cheese now. Okay. That cheese sauce. Right. Okay. I'm just gonna add it. And I want the fire off or the heat off because I don't want this to get into lumps, okay? So what I'm doing now is I'm just gonna do that. Okay. Okay. And so why are you doing this with no heat on it right now? I know yeah, because the pan's still on. Yeah, because if you think about it, it's, it's almost like cooking eggs. If you got it on heat, it starts to stream. Right. Okay, I don't want that. I want this to be more of a sauce rather than clumps of cheese. Okay. okay. So you'll notice, okay. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of water to that and get the rest of that cheese mixture. Okay. Okay, and we're just gonna continue to just break this up here. Okay. All right. Again, off the off the heat, but like we said before, the, the pasta is continuing to cook here. Okay, so we're just going like that. Okay, continuing to make it cook there. Okay, now what I'm gonna do now, you notice that it's just making a bit of a sauce there. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my 
cooked zucchini. Okay. There we go. Okay, and I'm gonna add my bacon. Okay. Looks, smells delicious. I can't wait to taste it. Okay, and I'm continuing to just mix this up here. Okay. So how long do you think you gotta mix this up once you put all the ingredients well, together? Just, in just so that some of the sauce, um, you know, um, reduces a bit mm -hmm. here. Remember, this is it's got no heat on it, right? So it's right. just more of combining the, the flavors of the of the uh, the zucchini and the bacon. Now remember, the bacon's going to be salty, so you know um, that's why we haven't put a lot of salt in here. Right. Okay. So we're, next step is that we're uh, just going to go and plate this. Okay. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is just plate this. So I'm just going to put this on here. Okay. Do just get some of this like this. Oh. I like how you're twirling it when you, you first pick it up. Yeah, you like you, that? You got some skills. Thank you. Okay, I'm just gonna do that. That's one. that nice there all right and I noticed that you've chopped something up there what's that what's the greenish that I'm looking parsley. at we're just gonna add that as a garnish in just a sec okay. now the one thing that I noticed while you're cooking this there's not a lot of ingredients to this whatsoever no, simple. and imagine if it was just a traditional cacio and pepe, it would only be the cheese and the pepper, right? That's right. So we're, we're doing uh, very few, very few um, ingredients, okay? Right. So what I'm going to do is just give me one sec here. I feel like I'm in a chopped kitchen. Yeah, well, sort of. We did do a lot of chopping. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So then we're just gonna put a few of uh, these here, just garnish it a bit. And then I'm gonna throw in a bit of more pepper. Okay, and there we go. Nice, so what's the name of this dish again? This is Pasta, cacio and pepe with bacon and zucchini. Here we go. All right, let's okay. go back to the chairs and have some food. Excellent. All right, and we're back. We're sitting on the chairs. We got our food here. So before I get to Eden, Jay, tell us again, what are we eating here? What are like, yeah, give us a nice introduction. Oh, your mic. Can you hear? Can we hear him with the mic like that? Yeah, we're good. All right. Okay, so this again is pasta. Yeah. Uh, with cacio pepe. Okay. Okay but with the uh, Jay's version with the bacon and the zucchini. All right, all right, everybody dig, dig in. in. Tanner, enjoy. Thank you. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. It is so good. Kind of nice. You get all those different flavors, right? Mm-hmm. I love my job. Yeah. Tanner's got the best job. Mm-hmm. You can literally taste everything in here, yeah. but my, I don't want to say my favorite, but one, one part of this that I'm enjoying is the actual pasta being a little bit more dense. See, and people aren't used to that. No. So sometimes if, you know, if you were to eat that, some people would say, well, it's too, it's not cooked, mm -hmm. but it's actually perfect. Right. Mm -hmm. My favorite part of this is eating it. Yeah. Well, you know what it does for me? Normally when I eat pasta, I like to have like a bread-based product, right. like something toasted or yeah. crackers, something. 
But this you don't substitutes that. that. You don't need it. Yeah, you don't need it. Are you yeah. telling me that you eat pasta with crackers? Oh yeah, I love a, I love a pasta with like rich crackers. Get some rich crackers, hundred percent. I just like I like have a bread. Now obviously I'll take real bread if it's there. But in a pinch, you go to the pantry, grab some crackers. Now, sometimes, depending on the sauce, too, like with the tomato sauce, right. an Italian tradition is to, after you eat the pasta, if there's sauce left over, you get a nice uh, piece of bread and you uh, mm-hmm. slap it around and uh, get the rest of that sauce. So That's right. It's, uh, okay. Well, listen, Jay. These people are getting jealous. They don't want to like watch us eat. So I'm going to finish eating this, but then when I eat, I can't talk. So we're going to cut the show, well, not short, because I know we went over, and that's okay. But before we cut you loose, you get a shameless shout-out or plug. So you got the mic, you got the camera, you got the lights. Have fun. Okay. So what we're doing, uh, what we're introducing in, in 2022 is called Jay's uh, Cucina. And what it is, is if you like what you saw today, um, what you can do is uh, for $35 per person, your house, and we'll uh, give you a cooking lesson. Do three to five uh, um, uh, uh, plates. Okay. Pasta or courses, sorry. Mm-hmm. And uh, you can watch us cook. You can cook along with us, and we'll all eat family style. So if you want to do that in the new year, that's what we're going to start doing. That's awesome. All right. Well, Jay, thank you very much. I can't wait till you come back and cook for us again because we still have at least one more course. Okay. So, yeah, please come back again and again and again and keep cooking for myself and Tanner. Have a great day. Everybody at home, Fort McMurray with Buffalo and the rest of the world, thank you for tuning in. I'm going to finish this food. I hope you're having a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. Peace. I just died at this. That's another Max City Morning Show done. It's so ballistic! <laughs> Talk about quenching your ugly thirst. Really?